Alright guys, all I'm gonna say is you better get in quick. I may or may not have called a nuke on our position. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell Divers 2. Even if this game has derailed everything I once held dear in the past two weeks, this is what gaming should be all about. Not cynical, bloated, quadruple A slop, but the type of passion project that comes out of nowhere to remind the decision makers at the top of the gaming industry that if you just make something fun, something that doesn't insist on talking down to its audience every chance it gets, then people will play it. They'll even actively want to support it and it doesn't need a two, three hundred million dollar budget. Don't get me wrong, Helldivers 2 is no indie game, at least not really. Sony funded the team who made this, but the difference is that they let the small team of creatives who made the top-down original Helldivers make the follow-up they wanted to. And within a few hours of playing, Helldivers 2 reignited my love for the type of game I honestly thought I'd left behind. If you look at my channel, I'm all about the story, but here, well, things are simple. You are a Helldiver, an expendable piece of shit who is just one small cog in the last line of offense against Terminid and Automaton scum. And with your team, it's your responsibility, nay, your duty, to spread managed democracy from planet to planet. And by spread democracy, I just mean dropping in and killing everything that moves while completing a few objectives, like, well, blowing things up, but blowing things up for freedom. The satire of Helldivers is in your face. It's not trying to be subtle or all that deep. It's not trying to wow you with its cleverness, which I feel so many games are desperate to do lately. Helldivers 2 is just trying to be fun, which unsurprisingly hasn't stopped people on Twitter from getting mad and putting out, you guys are scaring me because you don't realize the game is satire PSAs when it's really the type of person who would post something like that who actually needs the PSA. We all know it's satire, that's the fucking joke, and it's a game, not a political stance. Now please, shut up, we're having fun forcibly spreading democracy across the galaxy. The truth is, unless you ate a ton of paint chips as a kid, there's no missing the joke in Helldivers. I mean, if you take two seconds to read anything during the missions, you'll quickly piece together the real story of Helldivers 2. Like, how in this managed democracy, if the name didn't already tip you off, well, your votes don't count because an algorithm picks the winner and... Uh, for the official record, I would like to issue a solemn, heartfelt apology and formally take back what I said about Super Earth's managed democracy. Rest assured, every vote is of course counted equally, and please feel free to get in contact with the Ministry of Truth for more information on election integrity. You know, I've gotta say, the devs Arrowhead Studios have tapped into something with Helldivers 2 that's kind of becoming a lost art, an ancient practice forged by our ancestors that may soon be forgotten. Because the thing, the thing is, I'm exaggerating, but the thing is, Helldivers 2 just wants to be a fun game before anything else. It has its priorities well in place. I have no idea if this will resonate with anyone considering what I usually cover on this channel, but not since Call of Duty Zombies, like the best era of it for me, have I been so endlessly addicted to anything co-op. I'm usually a solo gamer, that's just what I tend to like, and this game can be played solo, which we'll talk about, but Helldivers has brought me right back to wanting to squad up with friends at every possible chance, responsibilities be damned. And speaking of squads, the one thing you're gonna have to get used to in Helldivers 2 is friendly fire. Whether that be your friends killing you, or, well, damn, the nade launcher's good. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Friendly fire becomes much less of a problem as you get good if you weren't from the start, but for my first 30 hours or so, I was dying from my teammates way more often than from, you know, what was actually supposed to be killing me, even if some, and I stress, some of those deaths were my fault. Oh, thank you. Dumb right where I was shooting. Oh god, I ran into your. No, but there's a hell bomb above you on that rock to your left. You can shoot and run away from. Will I be able to get I would far recommend away from more. It? I would recommend more distance. Oh, I think your guard dog might have already shot it. Might want to run. Your guard dog just killed you. God damn it! Should make it a little more interesting. Oh yeah. Don't. Well, don't kill us. I thought you meant like turn up the difficulty Whoa. next round. <laughs> I hate you. Matt. The most messed up part of this video is that somehow, some way, after borderline glazing the game for the past few minutes, I've still been underselling the best thing about Helldivers 2. And also, admittedly, I've kind of been ignoring the few big issues it absolutely does have. Plus, 
I want to talk about that premium battle pass, which is a weirdly touchy subject for some that I think has been getting exaggerated in almost every review of the game I've personally seen. Before I get to that though, I do need to take a quick second to thank our sponsor for the day, Honkai Star Rail. If you know me, you'll know that I'm kinda picky with games, so when game sponsors reach out, well, I almost always turn them down unless it's something I already like, like for example that Plague Tale video I did. Honkai Star Rail was a similar situation. I'd heard of it because just a few months ago it won Best Mobile Game at the Game Awards, and because it's an RPG that's free to play and also on PC and PS5, well, my interest was piqued at that point, and as it turned out, the game is actually really fun, and if you were ever going to jump in, now is the time. The 2.0 update was just rolled out, which completely revamps 2023's mobile game of the year into something even better. It added a brand new world to explore, Panacone, plus a ton of quality of life updates and new characters to unlock, including the five-star Black Swan, who I somehow managed to draw almost instantly, even though she's apparently very rare, and also Sparkle, who I don't have yet. Anyway, as part of the 2.0 update, you can actually get 20 free draws to unlock those characters by just logging in for a few days in a row. And if you download the game by using my link in the description, you'll also be able to use my redemption code for 50 free Stellar Jade, which can also be used to try and draw those new characters. Anyway, consider giving the game a try, and thanks again to Honkai Star Rail for sponsoring this video. Bugs. Helldivers 2 has quite a few of them, both in the obvious, not funny at all way, like, yeah, haha, ha, the game has insects, but also, in my experience at least, it has quite a few of the other kind too, like needing to die just to be able to reload or switch weapons. Yeah, I need to like, can somebody like literally TK me so that I can respawn and can be able to switch my weapon? Quinn, can you just like shoot me in the face? Yes. That was really quick. I got my samples. <laughs> I got Say them. less. That one happened several times, both to me and who I was playing with. Another example, one of the main objectives where you need to evacuate civilians would consistently completely fall apart, where the civs would just get stuck on nothing and would then, tragically, need to be put down so democracy could prevail. Matthew, I don't have the heart to do it. <laughs> me either. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing overly game-breaking now that the server issues have been fixed, the ones from launch, although now that I think about it, the game did crash on me a couple of times, which is kind of the definition of game-breaking, but what I'll say is that if you're playing this game with friends, every single moment does end up being entertaining, even the bugs if you couldn't tell. And the teamwork required to complete some of the more complex objectives on higher difficulties is what I loved most about Helldivers. Trying to play solo though, or even with randoms, well, if you like gambling, you'll love trying to play Helldivers 2 without a set squad, because you might have fun, or it might just turn into a complete f***ing nightmare waste of your time. If you're gonna play with randoms, either host the game or risk getting kicked and losing all of your progress, and if you truly insist on playing fully by yourself, godspeed for the higher difficulties, because this game was not balanced for the solo player. You know, sort of on the topic of balancing, I really think Helldivers 2 is going to have a long, healthy life. Partially because, from what I understand, the devs already have a bunch of new content ready to go, but also because, on the topic of balancing, as I said, there's a ton of unused content in the game right now. What do I mean? Well, as Helldivers currently stands, almost everyone is using the same exact loadout. And while that might not sound like a reason to be optimistic for the future, uh, what I'm getting at is that 95% of the weapons and the stratagems you can call down for support, well, those things are just collecting dust waiting for a buff, because the balancing in Helldivers is… it's not great, I don't think there's any other way to put it. The best weapons and stratagems in this game are so much better than everything else that there are maybe, maybe three or four guns total that see any action, <laughs> the breaker. And of the 50-ish stratagems you can call down, maybe 6 or 7 are ever used by anyone who isn't just starting out and has limited options. And what I'd like to do here is beg the Helldivers community. Please, please do not ask the devs to nerf the good shit. I don't know who's with me here, but I hate it when devs start nerfing things in games like this. Instead, why don't we buff everything that's currently mediocre instead of gutting what's already fun, because there's a goldmine of ways to freshen up the meta right there. There's also a second gold mine currently in Helldivers, or at least a potential gold mine, depending on how player friendly this game stays, because Helldivers 2, well, it does have microtransactions, something that I'm usually not a fan of in games you have to pay for. 
If a game is free to play, I couldn't possibly care less, that's how they exist, but when you're charging $60, $70, and then, then you're thinking you can get away with $20 skins, <laughs> that new Suicide Squad game, well, that's where I draw the line. If you're about to say, well, Helldivers 2 isn't $70, then you're absolutely right. It's not a full price game, it's $40 for the standard version, I think, and the main draw of the deluxe upgrade is just instant access to a second war bond, which is this game's version of a battle pass. It's how you unlock new weapons, armor, and uh, pretty much everything other than the stratagems you call down. There's a huge 9 tier standard war bond that's free to everyone and is the better of the two by far. And then there's a separate and small three-tier deluxe version, which is called the Steeled Veterans War Bond, aka the every armor set turns you into an amputee war bond. What about you, son? Infantry, sir. Good for you. Mobile infantry made me the man I am today. Here's my take, because I've seen a lot of reviewers complaining about the microtransactions without mentioning that well, everything you can buy in-game with actual money can also easily be earned by just playing and using the credits you either find on missions or are given in the free War Bond. And the only thing credits are used for in Helldivers 2, at least right now, is either to buy the Deluxe War Bond or to buy individual items in the shop, which also cost credits or real money to buy credits. You're using other non-premium currency to unlock weapons and stratagems and most armor, so there's literally nothing else to use those credits you earn on, it's why the game gives you them. And currently, Helldivers 2 is beyond generous, because even the individual shop items, which you'd expect to be priced stupidly high, are instead really attainable. By like, maybe the 20 hour mark when I was still figuring out the game, I already had enough credits to buy whatever I wanted and more in the shop. I just didn't because as things currently stand, it's the free battle pass that has almost all of the best equipment, and I honestly kind of regret most of my investment into the premium one because most of it wasn't worth it and I wish I'd instead invested that currency into the regular free edition. It doesn't really at all feel like Helldivers 2 tries to lock the really tempting items behind a grind or access to your wallet because if you're gonna be playing a fair amount like I have, it's been a borderline addiction the past two weeks, my life is a fucking ruin, uh, then at the moment there's zero reason to open your wallet after paying for the game itself unless I guess you're just super impatient, though you might notice I keep using words like currently when talking about this because uh, this entire section could easily age horribly. With how successful the game is, you just never know. I mean, <laughs> it's all love and positivity in the community right now because this game is awesome with a hopefully very bright future, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. I just feel like we've all been burned too many times by other games to take anything as a given. Anyway, if you aren't already, play Helldivers 2, it kicks ass, but that's everything from me today. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a like, as that's how YouTube decides what content is worthy. I am aware this was a very different type of game for me to cover, but if you're interested in more from me, feel free to subscribe, and if you can believe it, we're coming up on the channel's 50th overall video. This was number 48. Thanks to my patrons, as always, for their support. Keep an eye out, guys, for something there really soon. And that's all. See ya. Fire in the hole! Oh, just a heads up, this... <laughs> on in real I why would you throw that grenade there there's nobody there <laughs> there were it has a long <laughs> fuse all right <laughs>